coming to the, the Navajo Nation, the experience here is completely off-grid in nature. A lot of these accommodations that we have are reflections of Navajo life, whether it be traditional Navajo life or uh, modern Navajo life. Hi, my name is Bea Meehan. I'm the owner and operator of Shashina Echo Retreat. Shashina Echo Retreat is a off-grid glamping retreat that is situated here on my ancestral homelands. It consists of two hogans, two wagons, three tents, a cabin, as well as soon to be a cube. When we started this, there was no infrastructure. There was nothing here except for nature itself. In my culture, it's the absolute height of arrogance and ignorance to claim any sort of ownership over the land. Our relationship with this land is a steward relationship. Hogan represents the female world inside and that discipline in there. So when there's a calm smoke coming out, it's letting the people know there's balance in that home. There's intelligence in that home. There's discipline in that home. There's good people in that home. In Junalah. It's saying that that living place, that living being has a good rhythm. These were actual wagons that had been used back in, you know, the olden days. That's, you know, part of the charm of being here. It's incredibly simple. We've set up a pretty laid-back environment. People read, they get caught up in their reading. They also take these really long walks up on, on the ridge lines here. When you come to these canyons, you start to feel that you can finally breathe. Those views are phenomenal. To me, they're comparable to the Grand Canyon. Just the act of walking up there, hiking up there, can be cleansing. You start to feel like that was what you were really needing, you know? We highly encourage digital detox. The desert has a lot to offer. You just have to sit down and, and be a part of it. This is just the place to sort of get rid of all of that noise. There's something to be said about human beings and our connection with nature, and I think everybody should experience that. The big show here is the stars from horizon to horizon, this incredibly beautiful sky full of stars. We thought of the five billion star hotel. When people see these stars, I mean, that's something that will never get old. When people sit by the, the fire or, you know, sit out and look at the stars, you know, it's just a human connection. That sound of that fireplace, that language right there, the first language that came before human language, the language of the holy people who hear it in the wind. Navajo history has never been written down. Um, it's always been an oral history. The original time for a storyteller is when the winter time is here. And we share our world, share our culture, share our songs, share our story to bring harmony and peace within traveling. The point of the song is that we're wishing all of us a good travel, a traveling song, a horse song. 
When, when guests come to Navajo land, they have to meet the people. And they, when they hear these stories, they have a more clear understanding of the people. It's time, you know, to bring these stories out. So when they travel back to France, when they travel back to where they're from, they can share what they heard from the original people. Instead of on the internet, instead of on the TV, they could say, it's not like that. I spoke to a Navajo storyteller myself. Right now, there's this sort of resurgence in Native entrepreneurs, Navajo entrepreneurs here in this particular area. Getting recognized for what we do here is especially important because that puts sort of this spotlight on what we can do, how well we can do it, because for so long, we've been invisible. And so we're going forward in our own way with our traditions attached to everything that we do. And, and it's exciting and, and I'm really proud to be a part of that.